Good evening and welcome to the Max Stern Athletic Center on this rainy Tuesday night in Washington Heights. I'm Akiva Poppers alongside Mayor Fink and this is the Max Live pregame show tonight. The Maccabees on a 10 game winning streak will take on the NJCU Gothic Knights in an out of conference That's matchup. Right. They have been on a 10 game winning streak. Clearly one of the hottest teams in the conference might be the hottest team. Absolutely. And what is what have been the main factors? We want to know like what are the, what are the big re, what are the main players? The reasons why they have been been so hot. Right. Recently? So this year the Max have been really focusing on reversing the ball. They play a motion offense, just try to reverse the ball and get post touches. So the Max have executed extremely well at getting those ball reversals, really keeping the defense on their toes, making the defense work on every single possession. They've been getting Ryan Terrell in the post. They've been opening up Simcha on the outside for three. They've been doing things which allow them to really break down the defense. The they've, they've run a little bit in transition, but they've really broken down the defense using those ball reversals. Any emergence of any players you could think of that have helped with that? Like, in particular, Ofek Reef is a rookie. He probably helps. It. He's been, helped, been very good, very effective. Right, so Ofek Reef has really impressed me in the early going and impressed really everyone here at Max Live and all of the Max fans. And he really has just fit directly into that system. He's really athletic and he understands the game really well. And also, Donny Katz was hurt for the first few games and Caleb Malapski has really stepped up here in his first full season with the Max. Right. So we are playing tonight the N NJCU and at a conference team, not many of us know a lot about the team that we're playing. It's very, not a lot of fans know. So what would you say that is unique about this team, what are their key attributes, what what is good about this team that you Sure, said? so the most interesting aspect regarding this team is definitely the fact that they had a player who played D1, that's Quadri Moore, number 33. If you don't recognize his number because their numbers aren't clear enough, and their numbers are clear enough, believe me, he's the guy who's 6'9", so he's, he's clearly recognizable, he's the largest player on this court. Things didn't really work out for him, he played, like I said, in Cincinnati. Um, now he's with NJCU and they're trying to go to the NCAA tournament for the fourth consecutive year. Things haven't really worked out so well for, for them so far this year. They're only four and five. They've lost exactly eight games in each of the last four seasons, so not used to this sort of start. Last game on Sunday, they had they benched their players in the first half, so their coach is not happy with their performance so far. He's looking for a lot for them to play with fire tonight. They also have uh, have two other players who are very good. Sam Tony, one of the best players in all of D3, and Denzel Banks excellent at driving to the rim. So they definitely have talent. They're an extremely talented team. They just haven't been able to get that chemistry going so far this year. Would you say one of the unique things is that their team is, is their team gone through a lot of turnover from the past years? Are they a younger team? Maybe they're struggling with that factor. Or are they just a team that's getting fatigued and experienced? Yeah, so, experience hurting them? so not really a younger team, but they only returned three players from last year's team. So that's the issue so far, chemistry for them. This has been the Max Live pregame show. We're really looking forward to a tremendous matchup tonight. We will be back in one minute. Daniel Melul and Ezra Apple on the call. Hi, welcome to this Max Live live stream from coming to you live from the Max Stern Athletic Center here in Washington Heights, New York. I'm your host, 
Daniel Malo along with Ezra Pell. Ezra, how are you? Good, excited for tonight. Right now we are celebrating Simcha Halpert on the 1500 wins. You can hear the crowd in the background. You can hear the crowd, very exciting, 1500 wins. For Simcha, such a big part of this team. A big night for him. See him right there. Ezra, you know, Simcha is such a big part of the team. You know, sometimes I wonder, like, what, what would the team do without him? He's just such a big part of the team. What, what do you think? How, how do you think he contributes to the team the most? Well, extremely vital part of the team, especially his shooting, the way that he can spread the court. Definitely speaking, yeah, you know. So, right. Right now, Josh Joseph, the Vice President of Yeshiva University, is speaking. Yeah, 
All righty, we'll be right back. Please enjoy this commercial break. Alrighty, welcome back. I'm Daniel Malone, along with Ezra Appel. Right now, we are introducing the starting lineups. All right, NJCU, CU, New Jersey City University. Let's say their starting five. Who do we have tonight? All right, that right there. Number 30, Sam Tony, big player. Over there is Quadri Moore. Those are the rest of the starting five we have. Number one, Holmes. Yeah. The guard, Junior, as well as Banks. 6'2", Junior as well. And number 23, Darley. 6'3", guard, sophomore. Alrighty. And there's the max time five. There is Gabe Leifer. There's Gabe. Get forward. Senior. And in comes, there he is, Ryan Terrell. Good to have him back from that injury he sustained a few weeks ago. And here is Simpa Halpert. Uh, he's so, he, be, being honored tonight for his 1,500 points. Good to, have, good to see him in. Big night for some club. And there is Bar Aloof. Bar Aloof. At guard. Aloof. And a special introduction for Donnie Katz, the big man. I'll have to see a lot from him tonight against the 6'9 Quadri Moore. What do you think Donnie has to do to contain this 6'9 Quadri Moore, Ezra? Well, first off, boxing out. At 6'9, Moore, at 6'9, Moore is tough to stop on the boards. So they gotta look to get a body on him every single time a shot goes up. Can't give up those second chance points. Absolutely, yeah. And the other thing that the Max gotta do tonight is try to limit their turnovers. They look like the Gothic Knights have been a very athletic team the past few years. Like to get out and transition. Hopefully the Max can limit their turnovers and stop that. Alrighty, yeah, so that is definitely true. Limit the turnovers and crash the boards. Rebounds are key, especially when you're going up against a guy who is 6'9". So a lot of work tonight for our big men, especially Donnie Katz. Well, hopefully he'll get some support from Leifer and Terrell down low in the paint. Here we go, starting lineup is won by the Gothic Knights. Alrighty. There's Quadri. Quadri Moore can't get it to go. Rebounded by Halpert. Nice defense inside. Yeah, here comes Bar Aloof now. Aloof driving. Hands over to Donnie Katz. Halpert back to Bar Aloof inside. No. Back to Leifer. Leifer hands it over to Ryan Terrell. Terrell on the drive. Kicks it out to Bar Aloof. Aloof now drives in. Kicks over to Donnie Katz. Katz for three. It's good! Donnie Katz from downtown. Big start for the YU Max. Great. Great people in. You see, ooh, here comes the three back. No good. Rebounded by Ryan Terrell. Terrell pushing ahead. Hits Halpert. Halpert slowing down the pace. Back to Terrell. Terrell tries a three. No good. Re rebounded by Caton Darley. That was Holmes. Oh. Oh, going the other way. An offensive foul. An offensive foul, yeah, going the other way. All right. All right, here's Halpert. Over to Bar Aloof. Aloof gives it to Donnie Katz. But Katz almost lost it. Gets it back. Katz over to Leifer. Leifer gives it to Bar Aloof. At the top of the key, back to Donnie Katz. Shot clock winding down, out of bounds. Turnover. Oh. All right, going the other way, back to the Gothic Knights. All right, Tree Combs brings up the ball. Defense! 
There's Darley. Guarded by Katz. Darley gives it back over to Holmes. Three is good. Big shot there by Holmes. Game is tied at three apiece. Loof over. There's Leifer. Leifer. Breaks over to the Halpert. Press. Oh, Albert turns it over, and here and here comes Kate and Darley. Gives it back over to Holmes. Holmes back over to, to Tan Tony. Tony kicks it back. Darley can't hit. And the rebound, ooh, almost a little fight there by Leifer and Terrell, but they start sort that out. Terrell now comes away with the ball. Halper for three. It's good. Simpa Halper from downtown doing what he does best. Great shot there by Halpert. Pure shooter. That's why he has 15,000 points. Indeed. Indeed. There he's Darley. Darley gets inside Moore. Moore going up against Leifer. Good defense there. Great defense by Leifer and Donnie Katz containing the 6'9 Quadri Moore. Terrell kicks it over. Halpert open for three. Oh, it's in and out. And JCU Gothic Knights pushing ahead. Audrey Moore thought about three. Gives it over to Sam Tony. Tony inside. Gets it to go. Great defense inside by Leifer those past two ships, even though they got the points there last, last time. Ah, great pass from Terrell inside. Donnie Katz, great finish. Mm -hmm. Great passing there by Terrell. All righty, here's Quadri Moore, the big guy. Takes the shot, now drives in. Almost throw it away. Tries to get it in and gets it to go. Nice finish over outstretched arms of Leifer. He's doing a good job, though, going straight up with his arms, not drawing the foul. Ter Terrell loses the ball to Quadri Moore, comes away with it. Over to Darley. Darley drives in and is fouled. He will go to the line. Arloof with the foul. Nice take there by the Knights. The Max need to try to keep them in the half court. They would like to push the ball out in transition and to get some easy looks at the rim. Yeah. Uh, Caleb Malofsky will come back. He was, it looks like he will come in for Donnie Katz. Donnie Katz doing a good job so far. We'll take a seat. Uh, Caleb will have to wait until after the first shot to come in. Alright, Kyle gets to go. In comes Caleb Malofsky, the big man, 42. He will have the task of containing Quadri Moore, the 6'9 center for the Gothic Knights. Big task. Let's see if he can rise up to the challenge. And Darley misses a second. Oh, but it's Put back in there by Denzel Banks. Malofsky looking inbounded. Max have to look to break this press right now. Let's see what press break they're in. Yeah. Leifer. That's over to Terrell. Terrell gets to Caleb. Now it's Barloof. Tries the jumper. Cannot hit rebounded by Claudry Moore. Denzel Banks pushes ahead. Gives it over to Darley. No good. Rebounded by Simpha Halpert. Containing the boards is key for the backs tonight. Caleb looking for help. Gives it over to Halpert. Halpert fakes the shot. Looks like we have an on the floor foul there. By Banks. Nice job by Halpert. If they're going to play up on you because you can shoot the lights out, you got to be able to make them pay and get by them on the drive by. Yes, indeed. Ofek Reef checking in for Bar Aloof. Leifer, now Reef comes right in and draws the foul. Alrighty, Ofek Reef hot off the bench, draws the foul there. He will go to the line for two. Reef has provided great energy to this Max team this year, bringing in a lot of athleticism to, to the team. Indeed. Indeed, he is a very athletic player. He can get, get hot very quickly as he misses that first shot. Ah, Reef gets a second to go. 
Max down one. 15 minutes left. Holmes kicks over to Banks. Banks over to Darley. Now it's Quadri Moore guarded by Caleb. Caleb's all over. Move. Almost triple team there. Oh, a three pointer. No good. Oh, it hits the top and it will go the other way. Nice close out there by Leifer. Had his hands out and shown. And indeed, that is going to be key tonight. And let's see if the Max can break this press. Leifer. Gets it over to Ofek Reef. Ryan Terrell almost lost it there, controls it, looking for help. Gets it into Ofek Reef, over to Gabe Leifer, who gets it to go inside. Great move there by Gabe, Yeshiva takes the lead. Holmes pushes ahead, over to Banks. Waji Moore guarded with Caleb all over him, almost lost it there. Oh, but he draws the, oh no, never mind, it's a travel, good defense there by Caleb Milofsky, draws the travel. So far the Max done a good job containing the six foot nine Quadri Moore, that'll be key to the night. Now Halpert, finds Leifer, Reef drives in, and gets it to go, great drive there by Ofek Reef. Good find there by Gabe Leifer. The Max are punishing the Knights for going into the press by by using a press break to get the ball to Leifer into the middle, and that's giving them tons of options offensively. In. Now Moore drives in, guarded with Caleb. Looks like an on the floor foul there. Yes, by Caleb. Listen, he's has, he has a tough task tonight. I think he has done a good job so far. And it looks like that task might get a little easier. The 6 9 Quadra Moore will sit. We got some new players coming in for the Gothic Knights. 13, Jabeek Moore comes in along with Michael Clements, number 25. Here's Banks. It's Tony. Tony inside. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, but gets fouled. He will go to the line for two shots. Foul is on Ryan Terrell. Now, three, three fouls each for Yeshiva and for the Gothic Knights so far in this game as Tony goes to the line. Tony hits the first. All right, looks like we have another sub coming in. Terrell will sit, and number 15, Eitan Halpert will come into the game. Uh, he's the brother of Simcha Halpert, so brothers in arms. And Leifer gets the rebound, and Halpert to Halpert, here comes Eitan. Over to Gabe. Now Caleb Malofsky down low. Malofsky worked in the paint. And doesn't get it to go. Remounted by Banks. Now pushing ahead. Banks hits more. Now Holmes has it. Back to Bank at the top of the key. Look over to Moore. Now Tony inside working with Gabe. A three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Eitan Halpert. Great defense there by the Max. Moving their feet. Making the Knights' offense very stagnant. Not getting any penetration there. Gabe life for now. Go to Eitan Halpert. Inside his brother Simcha, who cannot get it to go. Great feed. Simcha there, unable to finish. Here comes Holmes. Give it to Tony. Tony, the step back jumper is good. Great shot there. Game is now tied at 13 apiece. Great move to fade away. Leifer was all over him, but that fade away created the space to make that shot. Indeed, that was a lot of skill for that shot. Milofsky down low. Hits Gabe's Leifer inside. What a move by Gabe Leifer for the finish inside. Great find there by Caleb Milofsky. Shiva takes the lead again. Anytime you get the ball to Gabe with two feet in the paint, good things will happen. And now Tony misses the three, but the rebound is oh, secured by Ofek Reef, who pushes ahead. Leifer gives it over to Eitan Halpert. Halpert almost lost it, and he does. Oh, turnover there, bad turnover there by, by the Max. And Moore pushing ahead, but loses it again, and here comes Leifer. Leifer guarded by Tony. Leifer's double team hits Caleb. Simcha fakes the pass to his brother. 
Gets back to Caleb over to Leifer. Leifer tries a three. In and out. Oh, oh that, that has happened a lot tonight. The gym was ready to erupt. Three-pointer there is good from Denzel Banks. Here comes Aton Halper setting up the play. Turn over there. And here it comes Holmes. Holmes cannot get it to finish, but Tony's right there for the easy putback. Knights take a three-point lead now on that. Got to limit the turnovers, not let them get out in transition. Eight side to Simfa Halpert. Malofsky inside. Gets it over to Leifer. Leifer, the great finish inside. Great find there by Caleb Malofsky. Excellent finish by Gabe Leifer. That's the second time that Malofsky's found Leifer down. That's a great high-low combination right there. Indeed, indeed. Looks like the Gothic Knights will take a timeout. Uh, we just want to let you know that this Max Live is brought to you by Doubletree, by Hilton of Terrytown, and by the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center, the destination for all your sports medicine, physical therapy, and interventional pain medicine needs. Let them help you reach your goals. One of the pain that affects your quality of life. Jersey. And if you are interested in your business or company advertising on Max Live for the second half of the Max season for the playoffs, or for the Sarachek tournament, email us at yumaxlive.com. One more time, that is yumaxlive.com. So, so Ezra, what's your take so far during this timeout? What do you think the Max have to do to avoid the turnovers? You see they've been turning the ball over a little bit, and they've been struggled with that throughout the season. What do they have to do to improve on that? I think the Max need to watch their passes as well as try to get the work the ball inside. So far, when they've gotten the ball inside to Leifer or to Malovsky, they've done a really nice job of getting good shots at the rim, and that will just draw on the defense and open things up for their shooters. All righty, well, let's see if they can turn things around. It's a close game so far here, about halfway through the game, through the first half. Good. Number 32 for the Max checks in. That is Kevin Boker. In for Aton Halford. Good defense there. The ball will stay here. Gothic Knights will keep it. All right, here's Calhoun. Over to Moore. Moore working with Ofek on it. Moore drives in, doesn't get it to go. Rebounded. Oh, well, there's a foul there. Looks like Michael Clement will go to the line. Knights are doing a nice job crashing the offensive rebounds. They've had a few. They've had a few already tonight, using their size and their athleticism to punish the Max on the boards. Max really need to look to box out. All right, Michael Clement hits the first. And hits the second. All right. Lights come out in their press. Oh, they looks like they backed off there. Terrell with it. Donnie Katz now. And here's Ofek Reef down low to Terrell. Terrell inside the fadeaway jumper. Does not get it to go. It is rebounded. Oh, it looks like there's a jump ball. Uh, jump ball there. Jump ball there was originally rented by Michael Clement. Ofek Reef causing the jump ball. The ball will stay in the max possession. Great hustle there by Ofek to keep the play alive, get the max another look. Ryan Terrell hits it over to Ofek Reef. Bar aloof over to Donnie Katz. Thought about the three. Passed on it. Bar aloof now. <laughs> Kevin Boker. Ofek Reef down to Ryan Terrell. Ooh, an offensive foul there by Ryan Terrell. 
It's a good job there by the Knights. Beat him to the spot. May have been a bit of a flop under the hoop, but either way, going down. Indeed, but that was some good defense by Jay McMoore. Terrell and Kevin Boker will sit. Leifer checks back in for the max. Along with Simcha Halford. And great defense there, Halford off the bench. Lays it in, great play there by Simcha Halford. He's back into it. Great job by Simcha reading the passing lanes. Steal for the easy two. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like the ball will go the other way. Yeah, now an offensive foul. Max trying to get, gain some momentum, going a bit of a run right here. Let's see what they can make of it. Let's see if they can get the ball inside to Lifer. They've had success when they've gotten the ball deep in the paint. Maybe try to get a high low here with Katz. Indeed. Let's see if Donnie Katz can share the ball as well as Caleb Malofsky. Bar aloof with it. Donnie Katz now. Oh. Ooh. It's like Halpert getting called there for a push. Looks like the ball will go the other way. Ooh, tough call there. Second trip in a row, the Max have had an offensive foul. It's two turnovers in a row right yeah. there. It was Kyrie Myers who recently checked in. Myers is guarded by Barloof, hands it over to Holmes. Excuse me, that's more. And one there. Overpowered Reef there on the block. Strong take. And Ofek doesn't agree with the call. Ofek is not happy with the call at all. But an and one there for, uh, for Jay McMore. And he completes the three point play. Yeah. Looks like the Gotham Knights have backed off on the press. There's Halper with it. Hands it over to Ofek Reef. Reef gives it to Halpert. Ooh, gives it away. Stolen there. Here come the Gothic Knights. Myers pushing ahead. Gives it over to Banks. Banks the jumper. No good. Oh, but a rebound there. Great putback there by Michael Clements. Excellent putback there. Great boxing out. Another offensive rebound there for the Knights. They've been really punishing the Max on the boards here tonight. Indeed. Halpert's got to look to shoot that. Yeah. Donnie Katz gets it into Lifer. Ooh. What happened there? Jump ball. It's a jump ball. Oh, if, Life, if Lifer would have let go of the ball. But this jump ball will go the other way. Oh, trying to work the same magic before with Caleb Malofsky feeding Lifer down low. But unfortunately a jump ball and the Max come up empty on that possession. Halpert's got to look to be aggressive there. That's two plays in a row that he's had a shot and passed it up. I'd like to see him get that off. There's more. It's over to Calhoun. Ooh, good defense there by Donnie Katz. There's Myers now. Over to Darley. We get a chance of defense from the crowd. Ooh, good defense there by Leifer. Myers almost lost it, but keeps it. And, ooh, a violation there from the shot clock. Excellent defense there by the Max. Great D there by the Max, moving their feet, preventing their man to get by them. Barloof sets the play. Now Donnie Katz with it. Now Halpert with it at the top. Oop, and foul there on number 13, Jamie Moore. Good play, good job by Halpert drawing the foul. Uh, Tariq Holmes will check back into the game now. Our right, lift gives it to Gabe Leifer. Leifer drives in. Leifer puts it up and gets it to go. Great play there by Gabe Leifer down low. Great take by Leifer using his height. He had a height advantage there and just shot over the smaller defender. Indeed. Ooh, and a block. Great, great defense there by Donnie Katz and Gabe Leifer. Life, life for using his length. Ofek Reef now to Donnie Katz. Donnie Katz working down low. Makes it to one side, gets it in, and he draws the foul. He will go to the line for two. 
Katz is really nice footwork foot work there on the block. The way that he was able to shift his defender towards the middle and then get him back and go the other way. Baseline, try to go off glass. Great move by Katz. Indeed. Katz now at the line for two. Oop. Fortunately, Katz cannot make the first. He will have one more. Quadri Moore, the 6'9 center, checks back into the game. And Katz misses the second. All right. Holmes with it, guarded by Halpert. Halpert gives it down. Oh, good defense there. Great rebound by Donnie Katz. Oh, and it, good defense there by Moore. He steals it, drives in, and gets it to go. Great defense offense play by Quadri Moore. Really nice footwork there by Moore, throwing out the Euro step on Katz. Oh, now the Gothic Knights are back into a press. Oh, looks like they back off, and here comes Baraloof. Halpert with it. Effect grief down to Baraloof, who kicks it back to Halpert. Donnie Katz. Aloof tries a three and can't get it to go. Rebounded by Quadri Moore, and Holmes comes away with it. Three-pointer there is good by number 30, Sam Tony. Time, time out there by coach. Time out there by coach Ellie Steinmetz. He does not look like he does not like what he sees. Yes, yeah, the Knights have gotten out on a bit of a run here. That's a 5-0 run. Really nice job by Moore. That footwork last time down for a big man at 6-9 to bring out a Euro step. Very impressive. And then the Max not boxing out, and then the turnover by Katz under the hoop led to that basket by Moore. Indeed, you know, so I think it's a low-scoring game so far. I'm surprised. What do, what do you think about that, Ezra? Low-scoring game. Both teams have not shot the three ball particularly well. I know the Max like to shoot a lot of threes. The Knights have taken a lot of threes, haven't hit a lot of threes. I think that's one of the big reasons. And the Max have done a nice job in the half court defensively. They've just given up too many offensive rebounds. Indeed. So let's see if the Max can improve on that. They are down nine with six minutes to go. And Baraloof with it now. See if the Max can turn it around after that timeout. Let's see what Coach Steinmetz drew up out of a timeout. Aloof gets it to Leifer. Leifer hands it to Halpert. Halpert not sure. Halpert. Oh, looks like we have a. Fa Ooh, that, that, that is foul number seven. That will be a one on one. Gabe Leifer will go to the line. It's a great job by Halpert there, recognizing the mismatch. The Knights had switched, and Leifer had a smaller defender there. Way to feed him the ball inside against the guard. And Leifer hits the first. Sub now for the Gothic Knights. Denzel Banks will check in for Caton Darley. And Leifer hits the second as well. The Banks with it now, keeping up calling the play. Max looking to get a stop here, going a bit of a run on their own. That's uh, Holmes, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ofek Reef. Good job boxing out the 6-9 Quadri Moore. Reef with it now. Goes over to Halpert. Back over to Leifer. Leifer looking. Finds Reef. Reef drives in. Kicks it back to Donnie Katz. Now Leifer down low. Leifer down low. Gets it to go. Yes, great play there by Gabe Leifer. Great ball movement there by the Max. Getting a lot of passes. Shifting the defense in order to free up Leifer down in the block against a smaller defender. Leifer has been excellent down low. It looks like an on-the-floor foul. That, looks like, that is a one-and-one one for Moore. He will go to the line. So both teams in the penalty now with around five minutes left in the first half. So both teams have to watch their fouls here, play defense without their hands, move their feet. Caleb Malowski checks back in for Donnie Katz. 
See if Caleb can contain Quadri Moore, who's at the line. And Moore hits the first. He will get another one. Baraloof for getting there for a second. That's a one and one. <laughs> and Moore hits the second. Knights back in a press. It, Max looking to break the press. Here comes Halpert. Back over to Baraloof. Loof looking for help, gets to Leifer. Leifer gets it across the court to Simcha Halpert, over to Bar Loof. Ooh, Loof almost lost it. Good defense there by Sam Tony. Max will keep it. Lofsky over to Halpert. Halpert tries a three and hits Simcha Halpert from downtown. That is what he does best. Cannot leave that guy open. Good transition the other way. Great finish there by Denzel Banks. Knights like to get out in transition. That's a great take at the hoop there by Banks. Our loop with it now. Over to Caleb Malofsky. Halpert tries another three. Can't get it to go. Ooh. Great play there by Halpert throwing it off. The Gothic Knights player there. Excellent hustle there. The Max will keep it. What a hustle play there by Halpert. And to have the wherewithal to hit it off of the Knights player. Really s smart heads up play to get the Max the ball back. Halpert looking, gets it into Bar Aloof. Now Aloof driving in. Simple Halpert over to Caleb Malowski who tries a three. Ooh, no good there. Here comes Banks. It's over to Tony. Tony tries three of his own and can hit rebounded by Caleb Malowski. Nice job there by the Max keeping the Knights from the outside. Matt, the Knights have done a really good job getting to the rim tonight. Anything on the outside, they've not really been hitting. Okay, Grief with it now. Gets over to Simcha Halpert. Malofsky. It's Gabe Leifer. Baraloof now tries a three and hits Baraloof from downtown for the three-pointer. Big three there by Baraloof. Max cut the lead to three. And here's Tony working down low against Gabe Leifer. Tony, good life, big defense there by Gabe Leifer. Aloof pushing ahead now. Aloof hits Ofek Reef. Ofek Reef tries a three, and it's good. Ofek Reef ties the game. Timeout there by the Gothic Knights. The Max have come back. They have taken Coach Steinmetz's advice to the fullest extent they can. They have come back to tie the game here with a little over three minutes left. Great run here by the Max. First off, you had Leifer on the defensive end, going straight up, not fouling, not coming down the fender, straight up, getting the block that led to an easy three. A couple of threes, and the Max have gone right back in this game. Indeed, you can hear the crowd is now into it. Crowd is into it. And how about the defense by the Max there, Ezra? They've done a good job now. They've held the Gothic Knights quite nicely. What do you think about that? Aside from the defense, they've done a really nice job of boxing out. The Knights have only been getting one look down each time down. They Earlier in the game, they were getting two, three opportunities each possession. So really nice to see the Max boxing out, limiting them to one shot, and then converting on the other end offensively. Indeed, and finally the Max have gotten their three-point game back into it. So you saw the big three there by Ofek Reef, and of course the three by, by uh, uh, Bar Luf Luf before. All righty, there's here's, here's Holmes over to Banks. Oh, almost lost it there. Holmes keeps it back to Banks. Banks gets a screen. Takes it over back to Holmes. Uh, Banks again. And Banks on the drive gets it to go. Great drive there by Denzel Banks. Nice finish in traffic. There were three max defenders there. Just better offense. Indeed, three defenders. Not a problem there for Denzel Banks. Baraloof calls the play. Gives it to Simcha Halpert. Now Caleb Malofsky with it. Malofsky, it's Halpert. Leifer with it down low. It's going to beast down low. Oh, almost lost it there, but gets it to go anyway. Leifer has been a beast down low tonight. Really impressive there on the bigger 6'9 more. 
The good defense there by the Max Barloof pushing ahead. And Barloof draws the foul. And he'll be going to the line. He should go to the line. The Gothic Knights are in the penalty. And it looks like he will. Yes, Barloof will go to the line. Really heads up play there by Aloof drawing the foul in transition, knowing that the Max would be going to the line, that the Knights are in the penalty. And Aloof hits the first. He'll get another one as the Max take the lead with just over two minutes to go. Aloof hits the second. Nice shooting by Aloof. Now let's see if the Max can shore up their defense and get a bit of a lead over here right before halftime. Creek Holmes sets up the play. Holmes gets it down low to Clement. Clement working on Lifer. Great play there by Michael Clement. Nice post move, using his body to create the space there on Lifer. Aloof with it now. Sends over to Simka Halpert. Knights have done a really nice job tonight getting around the off-ball screens. Max had a lot of off-ball screens, but that hasn't phased the Knights at all. Indeed, here's Barloof with it. Almost lost it, but keeps it. Gets it back to Gabe Leifer. Shot clock running down. Leifer finds Milovsky inside. Oh, he can't get it to go. Oh, great pass there by Leifer. Milovsky unable to finish. Holmes. It's over to Moore. Looking to go back inside. Clement working on Leifer. Almost gets the end one. Can't get it to go, but he will go to the line for two. And he's smaller than Lifer. He's just using his strength right now to create space and push him down on the block to create his shot. And indeed, great use of the body there by Michael Clement. Now at the line for two. It's the first. Got to take the league back. Okay, McMoore checks back in for the Gothic Knights. Second shot there is good by Michael Clement. Far aloof now sets up the play. Loof gives it to Halpert. One minute to go. Here's Leifer. Gets back to Halpert. Hopper get, almost lost there, but good, good keep there by Barloof. There's Malofsky in the corner. Back over to Barloof. Shot clock winding down. Aloof drives in. Gets it to Leifer. Leifer tries a three. Oh, what a play by Ofek Reef. That may have been an alley-oop there. It looked like one. What oh. a play by Ofek Reef. Made it look at like the a rim. shot. Made it look like a shot, but disguised it as a pass. Or did he? Nonetheless, great finish there. Oh, good defense there by Gabe Leifer. Comes away with it. Baraloof now with it. Max can hold here for one, get the final shot in a tie game here right before halftime. You hear the crowd chanting down. Leifer for three, it is rejected. And that will end the first half. Nah, they called a foul. They called a foul. Oh, they called a That's foul. That's going to be three shots for Leifer. Never mind. They called a foul. That will be three shots for Gabe Leifer. They, they called a foul on Moore there. Three shots for Leifer. Wow, what a costly foul. Leifer was three feet beyond the arc. Point four seconds put back on the clock. Lifer goes to the line. We will send it to commercial as soon as the half is over. And we'll be back for the pre-halftime show. Excuse me, there, the halftime show. Sorry about that. Leifer at the line for three shots. Ooh, he misses the first. Leifer misses the second as well. Leifer's usually a good free throw shooter. Shoots 71% from the line. 
Aton Halpert and Tyler Hodge check in. Tyler Hode checks in. And Leifer gets the third to go. Kevin Boker will check in as well. Max put on their defensive team for the last second of the game. Shot no good. We'll send it to the commercial break. We'll see you. We're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PM&R, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. The Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Emphasis is placed on manual techniques and individualized home exercise programs. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PM&R, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. The Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Emphasis is placed on manual techniques and individualized home exercise programs. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PM&R, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. 
Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. The Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Emphasis is placed on manual techniques and individualized home exercise programs. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PMNR, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. The Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Emphasis is placed on manual techniques and individualized home exercise programs. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PMNR, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. 
TMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. The Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Emphasis is placed on manual techniques and individualized home exercise programs. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Many patients respond well to progressive physical therapy. PM&R, the proud sponsor of the YU Maccabees men's basketball team. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. All right, we are back here for the second half. Max up one here to start the second half. So Ezra, we saw an interesting first half there. It seemed low scoring at the beginning, but then at the end the pace picked up and the scoring started to get going. So what do you think we'll see in the second half? Well, the Max need to be a little more balanced offensively. Lifer has 15 points, and he's been leading the way. But for the Knights, they have Tony with 10, and Banks with 9, and Moore with 8. So they've really been able to spread their scoring, whereas the Max have only have one player in double figures. I've been going early and often to Lifer. Indeed, Lifer also leading the way in rebounds. He's got to get some help down there on the boards. Yeah, and in the first half, the Max let up too many offensive rebounds. The Knights were getting too many looks inside, and the Max here need to try to keep them on the outside here for the second half, make them shoot the three. They've not shot the three-pointer especially well here tonight. So if they can keep the Knights off the board and outside the paint, they should have a really good chance to pull away with this game. And indeed, we only saw the three-point shooting pick up for the Knights towards the end with threes from uh, Ofek Reef and Bar Loof. We need to see more of that. I guess they Max kind of try and hit Halpert a little more. What do you What do you think is the best way to get open on the three, especially for Simka Halpert since he is well? The Max need to three. do a better job of reversing the ball side to side, getting the ball moving. Ball moves faster than any one player can move. Max have not had many assists here tonight. They only have ten assists and to go along with ten turnovers. Max need to do a better job of being able to swing the ball to create open looks. It'll open up the inside, which in turn should open up. Uh, the three-point shot for Halpert and Reef and some of the other shooters on the Max. Indeed, and inside, the Max has done a good job. Gabe Leifer getting most of those points down low. He's been a beast down low. What, what do you think uh, the Max have to do to continue to get him down low? Or, do you, or maybe do you think they should spread the ball to some other players down low as well? Well, the like Max have done a really nice job of getting the ball into the high post to either Malovsky or Katz. And once they get the ball in the high post, they've been having Leifer front his man and getting in front of him to have him on his back and there he's just and then he's just using his length over smaller defenders. They've not put more on him much tonight. They've been going with smaller defenders on him. I wonder if the Knights will switch, try to put the six foot nine try to put the six foot nine more on Lifer. So good points there, Ezra. And what about defensively? What do you think the Mets have to do better defensively, if anything? The Max did a nice job defensively in the half court. The one thing that they need to do is limit their turnovers to prevent the Knights from getting out in, in transition. Knights have done a nice job capitalizing on their transition opportunities. Alrighty there, so good points there. One minute to go. 
By the way, just to let you know, this Max Live is brought to you by Doubletree by Hilton of Terrytown and by the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center, the destination for all your sports medicine, physical therapy, and interventional pain medicine needs. Let them help you reach your goals at one of their five locations in New York and New Jersey. Also, if you are interested in your business or company advertising on Max Live for the second half, of the max season for the playoffs or for the Saracek tournament, you can email us at yumaxlive. Once again, if you're interested in advertising on Max Live for the second half, for the playoffs, or for the Saracek tournament, email us at yumaxlive.com. One more time, that is yumaxlive.com. Second half about to start here. Let's see what the second half brings us. A lot of things, a lot of things in store for us. Hopefully, for this second half. There's the buzzer. The second half will begin shortly. Let's see if the Max can get on a run here, get the crowd back into it. Pretty packed gym here tonight. Pretty exciting game. The Max haven't had a home game in a few weeks. This is their last game before the winter break. So hopefully they can get a win in front of their home crowd. Indeed, a, a win in the home crowd before the break would be very big for this Max team. Uh, looks like Ryan Terrell will come back in. It's been a while since we've seen him. I wonder if that ankle injury has kept him limited on the bench. Terrell's been relatively quiet tonight. Uh, I don't think he's gotten even any, on the board any points here tonight. So let's see if they can get Terrell going. Terrell's a huge part of their offense, so maybe they can try to get him some easy looks here to start the second half. And the second half has begun. Here is Bar Aloof with it. Aloof gives it over to Simka Halpert. Feeds Leifer inside. Leifer gets to Donnie Katz. Great finish there by Donnie Katz down low. Great find there by Halpert. And... Max increased the lead 43-40 to start the second half. Great pass by Leifer. Leifer is a great passer, leads the team with six assists. Sam Tony with it. Oh, a travel there by Tariq Holmes. The Max will take it. Shoveled his feet before he put the ball down. Cardinal sin in basketball. Indeed. Barloof with it now. Over to Simcha Halpert. Okay, Leifer has it. There's Donnie Katz, it's Halpert. Halpert thought about three, a pass on it. Halpert now drives and gets the finish. Great play there by Simcha Halpert, great drive. Great play there by Halpert. He got the bigger more on him and used his speed to his advantage. Indeed, great defense there by Donnie Katz. Max opening up this second half very strongly on offense and defense. Halpert tries a three, cannot hit. The rebound is, oh, it looks like a foul there on the floor. The Max will keep it. Really yeah. nice job here by the Max to try to get Halper going. Although he missed that shot, that's a wide open look. That's a great shot for Simpa. I'm sure he'll hit the next one. Looks like Kayla Malofsky will check in. Looks like Leifer will sit. Malofsky tasked with defending Lodge Moore there. Oh. Leifer almost, excuse me, Terrell almost threw it away there. But Max will keep it. Terrell inbound it again. Trail gets it over to Barloof. Halper with it now. Halper gets it over to Donnie Katz. Pass to Malofsky. Brings it to Barloof. Loof gets inside. Loof draws the foul there. Let's see what the Max can do here offensively with Leifer out of the game. They've relied heavily on Leifer so far throughout this game. Let's see if they can create shots for other players. Indeed, Leifer the top scorer for the Max so far. Trell looking to inbound it, and gets it into Caleb Malofsky, who gets it over to Simcha Halpert. Terrell tries a three, no good. Rebounded there by Jay McMoore. This is Tony, over to Jay McMoore. Back over to Banks. Sam Tony back to Banks. Cannot hit the three. Foul is called. So the foul is on Bar Aloof. Yeah, tough play there. Aloof got caught, switch on a much bigger player down in the paint. There's Tony with it. Jay McMore. Quadri Moore. Can't get it to go. Rebound back to Moore. Moore can't get it to go again. Gets his own rebound. Moore swings it out. And Jay McMoore with the finish inside. Ooh. 
Nice finish there by the Knights. Looked like the Max just got lost defensively there. Giving up too many offensive rebounds. You can't give the Knights multiple looks down each trip down. Indeed. Marloof with it now. Guarded by Holmes. There's Let's see Ter if the Max can get Terrell going here. All right, Terrell with it now. Back to Aloof. Aloof hands it over to Halpert. Swings it to Terrell. Terrell drives in and gets the finish. Great finish there by Ryan Terrell. Good to see him back in action. Right, Gotham Knights have to push the other way. Great finish there by Denzel Banks. Knights pushing off of a make. They really like to get out in transition, try to force the issue. Aloof with it. Aloof drives inside. And he draws the foul. Great play there by Barra Luf to draw the foul. Nice take by Luf. That second foul he's drawn so far in this half. He's really attacking the paint aggressively, looking to get to the rim. Leifer will check back in. Malofsky will sit. Donnie Katz with it. Dave Leifer there draws the foul. Four early fouls here for the Gothic Knights this early into the second half. They were having foul trouble early, not a good sign. Yeah, that's really big. In the first half, the Max were able to be very fortunate and get the Knights in foul trouble early, get to the line. Looks like they may be able to do more of the same here in the second half. Ooh, almost thrown away there. And Halper keeps it. Good hustle there by Halper to keep the ball. The shot clock did not reset. It was not a change of possession. Max got a hurry. Indeed. Leifer gets over to Katz. Katz is denied. A shot clock violation there. Max need to be careful with their passes. They had 10 turnovers in the first half. That right there could have been another turnover. Telegraphing their passes. You can't telegraph your passes. Here's Tariq Holmes. Over to Jay McMore. And that was Sam Tony working on Leifer. Quadri Moore with it now. And Jay McMore with a strong finish there down low. Great finish. Really nice finish using his strength at the rim. Let's see if the Max can get a good shot here. They haven't had a good look the past couple trips down. Luf gets it over to Donnie Katz. Sends a Halper with it now. I'd like to see if they could get Terrell here. Yeah, he's got some quickness advantage over his man. Halper tries a three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jay McMoore. Gotham Knights pushing ahead. Quadri Moore for three. Can't get it to go. The rebounded by Santoni. Back to Quadri Moore. Inside. Can't get it to finish. Ryan Terrell comes away with it. Terrell pushing ahead. Hands it back to Simcha Halpert who drives in. And Halpert gets the finish. Great take there by Simcha Halpert. Nice, nice take there by Simpla. He missed a couple of threes and forcing the issue, getting to the rim. Sometimes if you can't make the three, get yourself going inside. Good defense there by Donnie Katz. The Gothic Knights will keep it. I'd like to see the Max offensively look to go to Ryan Terrell a little more. He's got number 30, Tony, on him, and he seems to have a speed advantage. He has some quickness on Tony. I'd like to see him get past him, get to the hoop. Thanks with it. Quadri Moore now working on Donnie Katz. Ooh, a tough foul there by Donnie Katz. Moore will be at the line to shoot two. It's a really nice play there against Katz using his length. Indeed, Donnie Katz trying to give the body, but Moore with his six foot nine figure over, overpowering there, and now he's at the line for two shots. Moore gets the first to go. I guess a big challenge will still be even containing the 6-9 Quadri Moore. Especially on the boards. They've been giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. First half now here in the second half. Got to limit the Knights to one look each time down. Moore gets the second to go. Ryan Terrell with it now. Doug gets it over to Simcha Halpert. Hopper over to Donnie Katz. Ooh, Leifert told it, took the pass there, but found Ryan Terrell inside. Great finish there by Ryan Terrell. Excellent find by Gabe Leifert. Terrell's back in action. Wow, great play. It looked like that pass was trying to go to Halper, but Leifert 
Good shot there by Sam Tony gets it off the glass. Yeah, last time down, I thought that pass was looking to go to Halpert in the corner, but Leifer intercepted it and ended up turning into a layup. So, really nice play. Halpert drives inside, and a kickball is called. The Knicks will keep it. Caleb Malowski checks in for Donnie Katz. Caleb will be tasked with taking on the 6'9 Quadrine Moore. Good luck to you, Caleb. Let's see if the Maxon gets Simcha a shot here after the out-of-bounds play as the inbounder. Terrell the jumper, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Caleb Malofsky. Malofsky gets it back to Barloof, who resets. Lifer top of the key. Lifer with it again. Lifer finds Terrell inside for the jam and one. What a play by Ryan Terrell. Great pass there by Gabe Lifer. Terrell throws it down for the end one. Excellent play there. Great pass by Lifer. And Ryan Terrell has got this gym on their feet. Terrell showing that that ankle injury sustained a few weeks ago, not slowing him down at all. He just brought this gym into a frenzy. Terrell's athleticism really on display there. What a finish. Indeed. And Terrell completes the three-point play. The crowd is into it now. So let's see if that dunk can kind of ignite the max here and get them on a second half run. There's Santoni at the top guarded by Leifer. Now Holmes with it. Holmes looking. Try to get it to Banks. Good defense there by Simcha. Banks tries a three. In and out. Rebounded by Santoni. Tony guarded. Reset there. Tariq Holmes has it. Catholic Knights look to reset. Knights doing a really nice job running some off ball screens. Looks like we have an off ball foul on Ryan Terrell. The Knights right now, they've been slowing the ball down and they've been running some nice sets to get their shooters coming off of some flare screens, flaring out the three-point line. And that's creating mismatches down low on the inside. That's how you get Terrell on number 33. More. Ofek Reef just checked in for Baraloof. See what he can do. Tony with it working on Lifer. Tony the fadeaway, gets it to go. Great fadeaway shot there by Sam Tony. Nice work in spite of the good defense by Gabe Leifer. Yeah, we saw him make one of those earlier in the first half. That's a really nice shot, the way he's able to create separation using his body and to fade away from Leifer's outstretched arms. Oh, an off-ball foul there. Ryan Terrell went to... And that is their sixth team foul, and there's just 13, 13 28 left. And they already have 16 fouls, so foul troubles still plaguing the Gothic Knights. Yeah, and the Max need to look to continue to be aggressive, attacking the hoop, get the Knights in foul trouble, and get those one-on-one -on -one opportunities here in the second half. Terrell with it now. Lifer working down low. And Lifer gets it to go. Great work down low by Gabe Lifer. Great job by Lifer. He had an advantage there on his defender. He's stronger than him, and that's just a strong take. The other way. Looks like a foul is called on Lifer. And if they're going to put 25 Clement on Lifer, I would look to continue to exploit that matchup and get Lifer the ball inside. Lifer's got a real strength advantage there. Indeed, Clement just checked back in, by the way. So let's see if Lifer can work the magic against him. Coach Steinman's uh, talking to the ref. He's not happy about something. Seems to be some confusion over who the foul was on, whether it was on Gabe Leifer or Caleb Malofsky. Looks like they're signaling 42. So that'd be on Caleb. All right. That's Caleb's second. All right, glad to get that cleared up. Play will continue. Jamie McMore, the jumper, gets it to go. Great job there by the Knights, running some off-ball screens to get their shooters some looks. Reek was, Reef was having a tough time there to get around that off-ball screen. Indeed. Terrell pushing ahead now. Halpert thought about three but passed on it. Now Terrell drives in. Oh, almost lost it there. Good take. But, oh, Caleb throws it away. And Denzel Banks will lay it in. We're all tied up here. Fresh ball game. 
Indeed, the game is tied at 56 apiece. We have a new ball game here. Lifer with it now. Lifer working down low. Gets the foul. He will go to the line for two shots. Good Lifer's work. done a really nice job of seeing who's guarding him before he had Clement, who does not, who lacks the strength that Lifer has. So he was using his strength and overpowering him there. There he had Tony on. There he had Tony on him, and Tony is really strong there on the block. But Lifer much longer than him, using his length to get the shot off and draw the foul. Lifer gets the first to go. Kevin Boker, the defensive specialist, will check in. And Caleb Malofsky will take a seat. Yeah, Boker does a really nice job defensively, moving his feet. He's always in position on for help defense and very active hands on the defensive end. Life hits the second as well. Max with a two-point lead. Good defense there by Ofek Reef. The Gotham Knights will keep it. Max need to try to box out the Knights here, limit them to one-shot opportunities. That's been plaguing the Max all night. Banks with it now, drives in. Reverse it is up and in. Wow, what a play there by Denzel Banks, the reverse layup. Great move by Banks. Terrell gave up the baseline. Got to have your foot on the baseline. The baseline is an extra defender. Can't let your man go baseline because then there's going to be no help defense as we saw there. Ofek Reef with it now. Reef trying to drive in. It's a floater up and gets it to go. Great play there by Ofek Reef. Max take the lead. Ofek going to the left and then switching back to the right. What a play. Myers with it. Clement with it. A shot there. No good. Rebounded by Gabe Leifer. And that will be a one and one foul. Gabe Leifer will head to the line. Max already going to the line for a one and one with over 11 minutes left here in that second half. That's going to be huge here down the stretch in a tight ball game. Yeah, that foul trouble we talked about earlier is now we're starting to reap the consequences. Leifer at the line. We'll see what he can do. And Lifer gets the first to go. He'll get one more. So Max has done a good job getting the Knights in foul trouble. That pays off for them here. Lifer is at the line for his second. Lifer gets the second to go as well. Nice free throw shooting there by Leifert. It's going to be key here for the Max down the stretch to knock down those free throws with the Knights in the penalty. All righty. Myers for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Simcha Halpert. Ofek Reef pushing ahead now. Reef drives in. Floats it up and gets it to go. Ofek Reef powering through. Gets it to go. Great play there by Ofek showing his strength there. Yeah, Ofek showing the strength, just pulling his defender and then flexing on him. Wow. Yeah, that flex at the end was a nice little after shot. Myers with it, fakes the three. Now champs the jumper and gets it to go. Great shot there by Myers. Yeah, really nice. Fake the defender off the three point line and then one dribble into a pull up. You don't see a lot of pull up mid range jump shot these days. No, the three point line tends to dominate most shots here. Troll with it down low. Lifer. Now back to Terrell. Terrell, the spin move, the shot, gets it to go, falls down, but gets it to go anyway. Great play there by Ryan Terrell. The athleticism not stopping yet. Yeah, nice play by Terrell, and also may have gotten bumped there. And chance of defense here in the crowd. The YU crowd is getting into this game. Very much into it. Jenalyn is starting to flow through the gym after that shot by Terrell. Well, with it. And the jumper there, no good. Reminded by Jay McMoore, who gets it to go. And one. Great play there, Jay McMoore. He's gotten a lot of points down low here in the second half. Second chance points, killing the Max tonight. The Knights have done a really nice job attacking the boards, going up and getting second chance opportunities. So we have a sub here. Kevin Boker will sit, and Donnie Katz checks back into the game. Katz is a great rebounder. Hopefully he can help out the Max on the boards as they've been struggling there tonight. Max have been struggling, as you, as you just saw from the end one play by Jay McMoore. they got to control the boards better. Rebounds are going to be key to their success in the game. As Jay McMoore completes the three-point play. 
And he will now sit. He will now sit. Caton Darley back in the game. And the Knights are going into a press. Let's see if the Max can break it. The Max had no trouble breaking the press in the first half. And the Knights actually went out of their press because the Max kept getting easy looks off the press break. Ofek Grief down low. Tried to use his strength there. Couldn't get it. Rebounded by Terrell, who can't get it to go either. Ofek Grief fighting for the ball. But the Knights will keep it. Myers pushes ahead now. Here comes Banks. Three-pointer there is no good by Calhoun. Oh, and oh. that'll be free throws for the Max. That will be free throws for the Max. Again, the foul trouble paying off for the Max here. Knights have to sort that out and try to stay off the Max here as every foul will send them to the line. And Terrell's kind of struggled here tonight, so maybe getting to the line, getting some free throws, maybe that could help get him going. You see a lot of great players sometimes when they're struggling, shooting the ball, they get to the line. That kind of helps get them in their groove, helps get them in a rhythm. All right, Terrell at the line here. Cannot hit the first, so the play will continue. Knights with the ball now. Side. Oh, what a play there. Michael Clement gets it to go. Really nice jump hook over Lifer. Shiva leads by a point here with less than 10 minutes to go. Terrell bringing up the ball now. Donnie Katz with it. Reef with the ball now. I'd like to see him get the ball inside here to Katz. He's got a smaller defender on him. Halper with it. They got to try to get it to Katz right here. Katz has got number five, a guard on him. Terrell drives in. The jumper can't get it to go. Rebound is taken by Gabe Leifer. Ofek Reef tries a three and hits. Ofek Reef from downtown. Huge three there. Max go up by four. Ofek Reef has been a huge spark off the bench here tonight, really igniting the crowd, making some big plays defensively and offensively, hitting some big shots and going in the hoop. That three got the crowd into it. You hear the chance of defense from the crowd. Let's see what the Max can do here. Banks drives in, puts it up, and gets it to go. Great drive there by Denzel Banks. Really nice take, scoring over the outstretched arms of Lifer. Max there did a nice job of hedging the screen, but did not stop the Knights from scoring there. Halper tries a deep three and hits Simcha Halper from downtown. Simcha Halper hit a huge three just now. What a play. The crowd is into it again. The Knights cannot have their hands out against Simcha Halpert. That man has infinite range. You can hear the crowd back into it after that huge three by Halpert. Clement now, good defense there by Leifer. Reef comes away with it. Great job there by Leifer going straight up, not committing a foul, going straight up as to not commit a foul. And here, swing it down to Leifer, take it to the hoop. Leifer gets it to go. And a timeout is taken. Wow, the Max have gone on an offensive run. Timeout really taken there by the Gothic Knights. Really nice job here by the Max. Playing great defense and leading to offense. Blocked by, blocked by Lifer on one end, and then layup on the other end. Defense leading to offense, that's great. And then the spark that Ofek Reef has provided tonight. A couple of really nice takes inside, and that huge three he hit before as the Max now have a seven-point lead. Yes, that three started a trend. Then you saw that big three from Simcha Halpert from way downtown. And then this great, great layup by Gabe Leifer. Max on a roll now. By the way, I just wanted you to know that this Max Live is brought to you by Doubletree, by Hilton of Terrytown, and by the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center, the destination for all your sports medicine, physical therapy, interventional pain medicine needs. Let them help you reach your goals at one of their five locations in New York and New Jersey. If you're interested in your business or company advertising on Max Live for the second half of the Max season for the playoffs for the Saratech Tournament, email us at yumaxlive at gmail.com. Again, that is yumaxlive at gmail.com. Coming out of the timeout. So 7.44 here left in the second half. Max need to control the ball, not turn the ball over. Keep the Knights from getting out in transition. That's where the Knights have flourished here tonight. The Max can do that, have a really nice chance of pulling away with the victory. Off the timeout, here's Tariq Holmes. Let's see what advice the Knights got there during that timeout session. There's Banks. And here is Sam Tony. Good ball movement there, Holmes. 
Now Bank, good shot there. Is no good, rebounded by Gabe Leifer. Leifer comes away with it, now pushes ahead. Hits Olfek Reef downtown. Oh, is that a foul? And one, it is an and one. Wasn't sure if it was an offensive foul there, but the ref has confirmed it is an and one for Olfek Reef. Great transition play there. Excellent finish by Olfek Reef. The crowd is really into it now. That has really set a spark. That was a great pass there on transition. And what a finish by Olfek Reef. He flew there. Did he fly there, Ezra? Did you see that? He was at the rim. I thought for a second there he was going to dunk it. He had a great dunk earlier in the season. I mean, the guy is at the rim when he jumps. Yes, really indeed. impressive athleticism. Yes, and he just finished the three-point play. Nice push back the other way. Jamie McMore can't get three to go. Rebounded there by Gabe Leifer and Ryan Sorrell. And they're laughing about they it. They are laughing about that. Uh, realizing that they are friends. They, uh, they're both on the same team here. Now Halper driving in. It's over to Gabe Leifer. Back to Alfred. Halpert another three. No good there. Rounded by Quadri Moore. The roof would have came off if that shot went in. What a great shot. Quadri Moore with the excellent finish. And Moore silences the crowd. Really nice touch there for a big man. At 6-9, that was a really nice touch with the floater as we have an eight-point game. Terrell gives it to Donnie Katz. Katz feeds Leifer inside. And Leifer loses it. And Holmes comes away with it. And it's Jay McMoore driving in. Oh, they draw the offensive foul. Great play there by Donnie Katz, drawing the offensive foul on Jay McMoore. Max will take the ball. Donnie Katz is always willing to give up his body for this team. You could pencil him in for at least one charge a game. I mean, it seems like any Max game you tune into, Donnie Katz is there willing to take a charge. Halpert attempts another three. Can't get that one to go. Rebounded by Ryan Terrell. Ofek Reef now trying on the phase on the three. Keeps his dribble and finishes. Ofek Reef. He's been big right now. He just got another point there. Great play by Reef. The Knights had swiped the ball away and he recovered and just was looking to go to the hoop. He was a man determined to get to where he wanted to be. There's Holmes. Holmes with the ball. Holmes driving in now. He's to the corner. I'd like to see more inside as opposed to outside on the three-point line. More the fadeaway. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ofek Reef. Pushes ahead to Simka Halpert. Halpert to Reef. Oh, that would have been huge if he would have thrown it down. This roof would have erupted. And Halpert can't hit the three there off the side of the board. Wow. That is too bad they could not convert. The gym is still, everyone's still on their feet of what the prospects Everyone of that play would have been. In, yeah, you are right there. Everyone was ready to explode. Reef getting a standing ovation as he checks out. Barloof comes back in. The crowd is really into it right now. Oh, imagine if Reef would have thrown that down. Reef has really sparked the Max second half surge. He's been great on both ends and really getting on transition, getting downhill, getting at the rim. Uh, looks like the... Gothic Knights will check it back in again. Holmes brings up the ball. And a timeout taken there. Timeout takes. Timeout taken there by the Gothic Knights. Max feeling quite good right now, especially especially, especially after that, uh, well, let's just say almost slam dunk by Ofek Reef. The crowd would have exploded. You know. Besides for that, he, he, had, he had the great play before. What, what have the Max done to turn us around here in the second half? Well, Max have done a really nice job in getting out in transition themselves, getting some easy looks. You saw Ofrek Reef a couple times getting out in transition and finishing. Max also have done a really nice job of rebounding the ball a lot better here. Donnie Katz has helped contribute to that. He came back in the game, and the Max have not really allowed many second chance points at keeping more out on the outside as opposed to at the rim. Yeah, we have seen more on the outside instead of inside. A key thing for the Max is to keep him away from the inside as his 6'9 figure can really get be dangerous down low. So key thing for the Max is to keep, keep him outside. Hopefully Donnie Katz continues his great defensive play right now. And if you're the Max here, there's 5'20 left. You're up 10. Control the ball. Don't turn the ball over. Get smart, good shots. Work the ball into the paint to life or get him the ball with two feet in the paint. When he gets the ball down there, he's nearly unstoppable. I'd like to see them go back to maybe a high-low with Katz at the free throw line. They did that earlier in the game with Katz and Milovsky, and that worked very well for them. So let's see what the Max do here. 
All right, off the timeout. Here is there's Holmes. Holmes drives in, draws the foul there. He will go to the line for two shots. Really nice play out of the timeout there. Setting a double screen there for Holmes to get him downhill and he can really explode. We saw that quickness right there. Yeah, he has been explosive at times tonight. Foul was on Donnie Katz. Holmes line for two. And some confusion it looks like. And if you're the Knights, you want to keep trying to get to the free throw line. Stop the clock. Try to make a comeback. Oh, the first three throw there is no good by Tariq Holmes. Some subs here. Caton Darley will come in. And Jimmy Calhoun will come in. The two Moors will sit here with a little over five minutes to go. Holmes gets the second to go. He's cut to nine. You see the full court press again, and this time it looks a little more aggressive. Yeah, they're looking to trap the Max here in the backcourt to try to force a turnover. A little sense of, more sense of urgency here by the Knights. Max doing a good job breaking the press. There's Lifer with it. Ryan Terrell has it now. Lifer down low. Working on Sam Tony. And Lifer throws it up and gets it to go. Great play down low by Lifer. Again, doing especially down low. He's been a beast down there tonight as he leads the Max to scoring. Yeah, really nice jump hook there by Lifer using his length. And now we see Ofek Reef set to check back in. He's been a spark plug here tonight for the Max. Holmes drives in. Can't get it to finish, but put back there is good by Jameer Calhoun. Got to put a body there on Calhoun. Exploded at the rim. Full court press. Much more aggressive we've seen so far. Max trying to break it. And they have his life with it. Finds Donnie Katz back low. Faked it at first. Gets it to go. And one. Donnie Katz will go to the line for a three-point play. Great job there by the Max passing to break the full court press by the Gothic Knights. Yeah, the Max needed to use the full court press to their advantage. The Knights are going to be very aggressive here in the backcourt. If the Max can get the ball into the middle, into the, around half court, near into Lifer. You get the ball into Lifer. He's going to have a lot of options down low, either Cat on the baseline or cutting Reef or someone else or Halpert in the corner. That's really important for the Max here to break the press. Lifer's a big target. He can get the ball there and he's a great passer. He leads the Max in assists. Ofek Reef back in the game. As Donnie Katz completes the three-point play. Max with a 12-point lead here with a little over four minutes to go. Let's see if they can hold the lead. And if you're the Max here, don't worry about their press. You've broken it throughout this whole game. Key things defense now. Calhoun, Jameek Moore now. Passed on the three. Tony with it guarded by Lifer. Tony drills the three over Lifer in his face. Tough shot. Lifer was in his grill. He had to cross over and come back to the three-point line. Really nice shot. But if you're the Max, that's great defense. you got to live with that. Oh, that looks like a foul there on Tony. And Reef will be going back to the line. This one for two shots. Ofek Reef to the line. Again, that foul trouble really hurting the Gothic Knights here late in the game. They cannot afford to give up some fouls and send the Max to the line for some easy points. Yeah, it's going to be tough here for the Knights because they're trying to be aggressive and try to go for steals so the Max can't try to run out the clock, run out the shot clock, but obviously the Knights are in foul trouble, so every time they reach, the Max will be going to the line for two. Ofek Reef goes one for two there. Max up ten here. Calic Knights push ahead. Calhoun hits the banks in the corner. Back to Calhoun. Tony down low, guarded by Lifer. Great defense there by Lifer. Struck, blocked there. Lifer with an excellent defensive play. But Tony tries a three now and hits again. From the same spot. Nice shooting there by Tony. He's caught fire here. So Halpert gets into Terrell. And now Halpert pitches ahead. Here comes Ofek Reef. Smart decision to slow it up there. You're in no rush. The Max are, have a healthy lead. Take some clock. Run the clock down as much as you can. Running the clock will be key for the Max right now. As Halpert has it. Oh, almost lost it there, but Lifer keeps it. Dangerous pass by Halpert there. You want to throw it over the smaller defender, not on the ground. Halpert for three. Can't get it to go. Tony pushes ahead to Holmes. 
Jay McMore finds Banks in the corner. Tony, same spot for three. Can't get it to go that time, but Jay McMore is there for the putback. And just like that, the Knights erased a 10-point lead into a 5-point lead. Really nice shot making by the Knights. They've hit some difficult threes, but the Max right there, second chance points. they got to put a body on everyone down low and box out. We've said that a lot tonight. Max have to control the boards. Boards are key to winning a game. Coach Steinmetz wants to talk with the team after that. So 2.43 here left, five point game. The Max have done a really nice job of breaking the Knights press. That has not phased them at all. But they have to be careful once they break the press and not take any dumb shots or turn the ball over. I know that everyone wants to make that home run play, but with 2.43 here left in the game, the Max need to be careful and try to use as much clock as they can on their possessions. Yes, the Max have to control the clock carefully and, of course, be very careful with the ball. Turnovers can only do harm here, and there's really no room for mistakes right now. Max with a five-point lead here with just under three minutes to go, and they have the advantage. The, the Gothic Knights are in the penalty. If the Max get fouled, they go to the line for two. So a key, a key thing here is really controlling the ball, controlling the rebounds, and, of course, playing smart defense. No need for fouls, and they got to get up on Sam Tony there, who's been nailing threes from the wing there. He hit two big ones to cut this lead down to five. Yeah, exactly. Got to get out on the three-point shooters here, as well as try to get, break, break the press and try to get the ball to Lifer here in the middle. That's been their key to breaking the press tonight. Yeah, that press intact, in and here's Terrell. Max have done a good job breaking it. Ooh, almost thrown away there, but Reef controls it. Dangerous pass. Max control it still. Here's Terrell, guarded by Holmes. Terrell with it again. Terrell looking for some help, gets it over to Donnie Katz, who almost lost it, but he got it back. Defense here is being really aggressive. Shot clock running down. Terrell looks to turn it up. Ofek Reef drives in. Floater can't get it to go, but rebounded there by Gabe Leifer. Big board there. Can't get it to go. Out of bounds. It'll stay here. Max, keep the ball. That's a big play for the Max. Great effort by Leifer to keep the possession alive. I know he wanted that shot to go down, but right now the Max can run off some more clock here with 2.11 here left in the game. And we just said board's big, so big board there by Gabe Leifer. Boards will be key here. Leifer's got a mismatch here. Leifer guarded by Holmes. Gets over to Halpert. Halpert open for three. It's good. Simcha Halpert with a huge three here with two minutes to go. Max back up by eight. Great find there by Gabe Leifer. Simcha Halpert with a big three. And that play there is all Leifer. Getting the mismatch and finding the open man drawing two. Good shot there by Calhoun. Leifer looking, finds Terrell. Terrell double teamed. Max looking to break the press and Terrell pushing ahead now. Terrell throws it over to Simtha Halpert. Down low to Gabe Leifer, guarded by Sam Tony. Yeah. Off ball foul on number two, Denzel Banks there. Ryan Terrell holding his arm. That's big because Terrell is going to be going on the line for two. And Terrell's going for two here to try to extend the lead. Terrell hits the first. Big foul shot there by Terrell. He struggled here tonight scoring the ball, but he's done a lot of other things really nicely. He's been great on the defensive end, helped out on the boards, and he's created a lot of offense for his teammates. Terrell hits the second. Big pair of free throws there by Ryan Terrell. Tariq Holmes sets the play. Looks to get inside to Jimmy Moore. Working on it, Ryan. Oh, Jimmy McMore gets it to go. Good defense there by Ofek Reef. Powerful play by Jimmy McMore. Howard looking to get it in. Oh no. Oh, and it's, you know, it's taken away. Oh. Santoni with it, tries a deep three and hits. Wow, what a three there by Santoni from downtown. Lead is cut to three here. One minute to go. Coach Steinmetz calls an immediate timeout to sort things out there. What a shot. That was deep. Wow. Three-point game. The Max just turned the ball over, trying to get the ball in off of the press. They need to come up. Coach Steinmetz needs to draw up a play here to get the ball inbounds. Max have done a good job overall breaking that press. That time they struggled, and it hurt them. 
Wow, that, that three was really far. What a shot by Tony. He's hit a bunch of huge threes here to keep this lead close. He's been keeping the Knights in it. One minute to go here. Shiva up by three. What, what, what do you think Yeshiva has to do to, to close it out here with one minute left to go? Well, what Yeshiva's got to do is break the press, get the ball inbounds. And once they get the ball over half court, the Knights are going to be desperate. They're trying to go for steals, and every time they foul, they reach in. That's two shot for the max. So they got to be patient, if, break the press, and then be patient here in the half court. And then that'll hopefully lead them to victory. All right, Coach Steinmetz, giving the team a talk here. Game will resume shortly. Can't afford any turnovers, though, right now. Let's see if the Max can do a better job breaking the press this time. It hurt them just a few moments ago, so hopefully they can break the press this time. I'd look to try to get the ball maybe in Terrell against a smaller man. Terrell with it, right back to Halpert. Oh, and a foul there. Halpert will go to the line. Excellent play there by the Max to break the press, and Halpert will head to the line now. And Halpert's the guy who you want at the line. He's an excellent free throw shooter for the Max. He leads the team in free throw shooting at 88%. Less than a minute to go. Max trying to maintain this very small lead here. Can they close it out? And Halpert, Halpert will now go to the line to attempt the free throws. The Max here defensively have to be careful. Don't want to foul necessarily, but can't give up any three-point shots and got to rebound the ball. Looks like Knight switching up who will be down low for the rebounds. Halpert finally at the line now. And Halpert hits the first. Every point here matters when the lead is this close. So big free throw there by Simcha Halpert. Yeah, Simcha is not phased by this moment. He's been here before and you can tell. And so the Halpert hits the second. Max now up five, less than a minute to go. Holmes pushing ahead. Guarded by Halpert. The crowd is into it. You hear the chance of defense. Holmes down low to Calhoun. Calhoun guarded by Donnie Katz. There's Tony. He's been big for the three. He tries another one. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Simcha Halpert. Halpert gets it over to Gabe Leifer. Leifer over to Ryan Terrell. Terrell avoids it and gets it to finish. Great play by Terrell, avoiding the defender there, being very patient, and then getting the layup to go. Max now up by seven here with less than 30 seconds to go. Big play there. Yeah, like as you said, great patience there by Terrell. Give a ball fake, have the defender fly by. Wide open layup. 29 seconds left here. He changed it to 29.2. Oh, clock change there. I guess every moment does count when a game is this close this late in the game. Terrell looked like he would throw it down there for a second, but very, very intelligently waited for the defender to fly away as he simply laid it in. Some confusion here. So that confusion, though, that helped the Knights because their coach just drew up a play for them. Let's see if they can get a good shot here. They need a quick shot. Can't afford to waste any clock. Holmes pushing ahead, not wasting any seconds. Life of defending. Tony. On the drive, gets it in. Quadri Moore lays it in there. Uh, looks like a timeout is called there by the Gothic Knights. Yeah, Knights called the timeout there. Stop the clock. Draw up a press. Try to force a steal right here. Indeed, a steal will be key for the Knights right now. Max up five with 17 and a half seconds to go here. And if you're the Max, you want to try to get the ball into Halpert. He just made two free throws. He's the best free throw shooter on the team, and he's a guy that's been in big moments before. The senior has played in big games, and he's delivered. I think we can expect him to be guarded quite heavily by the Gothic Knights. As you just said, he is the best free throw shooter. He just hit a big pair before. So while Max might try to get it into him, the Gothic Knights will probably be all over him as he is quite clearly under the radar. Also, look for Terrell. He's very long. He's a long, big target. He's got a much smaller defender guarding him. 17 and a half to play. Halpert will inbound it, guarded by Moore. Halpert looking. And gets it into Ofek Reef. Leifer looking. Gets it over to Ryan Terrell, trying to run the clock out. Now Halpert is fouled. Wow, look at that. Max got it to Halpert anyway. 
Excellent job by the Max running the clock down. We had 17 seconds before. We have less than 10 now. Max up five. Halpert at the free throw line. Big free throws here. This can put the game away. Hard fought battle. Let's see if Simple Halpert can close it out here. And he hits the first. Big free throw shooting here by Halpert down the stretch. Max up six with less than 10 seconds to go. Halpert at the line for his second. And gets it to go. Clutch free throws. Clutch free throws by Halpert there. Just might have sealed the game. Moore tries a three and hits. Max only up four with 3.7 left to go. Just get the ball Halpert gets bounds. it into Terrell is fouled. Terrell will go to the line now. Some really nice shooting here down the stretch by the Knights, but it will probably not be enough as the Max here just need to hit some free throws and close out the game. Terrell hits the first there. Our team the house! Terrell the big free throw, puts the max up by five. That just about seals it. And can it the second. And that'll do it. Big win here for the max. All right, we'll be right back here for the post-game interview with Ofek Reef. Welcome back. I am here with Ofek Reef. Ofek, great game there. How did you guys turn it around after the second half? Um, you know, I think it was just a lot of defense. Uh, first half we came out just really slow. Uh, moved the ball very well in the second half as well, which we didn't do at all in the first. You saw a lot of the full court press there. How did you guys break that full court press so efficiently? Only one turnover the entire time due to the press. Um, we work on it a lot at practice, so that really helps us. Uh, a lot of teams like to press us as well, so it's not the first time we've seen it. I see. And, and Ofek, tell us about that alley-oop over there. Everyone was ready to go into a frenzy. It seemed like you were flying there. What was, what was it like? Tell us about it. I went up. I didn't know where I was, to tell you the truth. Uh, just kind of went up, looked at the rim. I saw I wasn't even close, so I just came down with it. All right, well, if you would have thrown that down, that certainly would have had this gym explode. Ofek, congrats on the big win. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And for Max Live signing off here, I'm Daniel Malil. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.